A group of state lawmakers wrapped up their second meeting as they consider an impeachment petition filed against Governor Andy Beshear last month. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff joins us live from Frankfurt now, just as we're learning that one of the petitioners wants his name removed. Mark, what did we learn today? Yeah, Rick, Vicki, we just learned that Randall Daniel wants to be removed as a party to the petition. And we learned that after the committee had been in executive session for about two and a half hours. Also, before they went behind closed doors, the committee voted to publicly release the formal response that Governor Andy Bashir made to the petition. Two more petitions have been filed in recent weeks to impeach Attorney General Daniel Cameron and Representative Robert Goforth. And there is also a petition asking Louisville Republican Jason Nemes to recuse himself from the role of chairperson. Today in his daily briefing, Governor Bashir addressed the petition. When you look at this thing, you can't say, you know, do you think you shouldn't have taken certain actions so certain people wouldn't be mad at you? Now, I take actions to save lives, but what I can say is none of those actions are anywhere close to an impeachment standard in Kentucky. Now, we asked Chairperson Nemus to respond to this petition, asking him to recuse himself from the role of chairperson. He said he didn't think it would be appropriate at this time. I also asked whether or not he thought the law should be changed after, and now the fact he's got three petitions coming to his committee for different impeachments. He also said that in that case, he didn't think it was proper for him to comment on it. What I can tell you is that he was able to tell us that the impeachment for Attorney General Daniel Cameron Cameron was delivered to the House of Representatives after lawmakers went on a break. So that hasn't actually come to this committee yet, but he expects to take it up when lawmakers return in February. Live in Frankfurt, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.